Hi, my name's Kathy, and this is going to be a trauma sensitive yoga practice. It'll be about 30 minutes or so in length. And in this session, you'll notice things like invitational language. So I'll be using invitational language as a way to emphasize that you're in control over how you move your body during this practice. So I'll be using terms like maybe you might, uh, if you like, again, just emphasizing that everything is a choice. And the reason we do that is because that offers a opportunity for you to make choices based on your present moment experiences. And that offers an opportunity to empower you, the client, during the practice. And not only that, this sort of opportunity to notice or at least just to make choices uh, has a therapeutic value with regards to trauma. So one defining characteristic of trauma is that it occurs when there is lack of choice, loss of choice. So in a trauma sense of yoga practice, this is uh, reintroduced in a safe space so that you can practice making choices that work for you. And in addition to that, there are many or numerous sort of body-based uh, re results or effects of trauma. Uh, some people become quite dissociated from their body, uh, don't really notice what's happening in their body, loss of sensations or um, hyper sensations. So again, having that opportunity to to practice feeling into your body and noticing your body can help with the, those sort of effects of trauma. Uh, going back to what to expect in this session, in this session or any trauma sensitive yoga session with me, uh, I'll also offer opportunities to maybe notice particular parts of your body. So I might say something like, you might notice your shoulder. And I'll say might, because one, you might not want to focus on the area of your body, and that's totally fine. Uh, secondly, you might not feel that part of your body in that particular yoga form, or at all. And that's okay too. And that's, as I said, it can be a result of trauma or just individual differences. Sometimes we're just not aware of every part of our body. Um, so I won't talk too much about theory here. I think this one, this particular session is really just to give you a idea of what to expect in a trauma sensitive yoga session. And I'll be following trauma center, trauma sensitive yoga methodologies. So TC, TSY, and this, these methodologies have an evidence base for uh, reducing symptoms associated with complex trauma and complex PTSD. So without further ado, if you would like to practice some yoga, you might find a seated position that works for you. And so your seated position might be uh, cross-legged, maybe kneeling. And if you choose, you, you might even have a leg out to the side. So it's just the seated position of your choice. From here, you might bring your attention to the surface underneath you. Maybe you notice pressure points in your body where you're contacting the surface underneath you. And feeling free to be still, you have a choice here of maybe rotating your upper body around your hips. And if you choose to move, you might notice that your connection to the surface underneath you changes. And you're in control of the size of the circle 
and the pace of the circle. And maybe staying here for three, you can always stop a movement or come out of a form or shape at any time. Two. And one, feeling free to stay with movement or you might come back towards your, your seated position. I feel free to hold here or you might lift through the top of your head. And if you choose to lift, you might feel muscles activate to lift and support you. You're welcome to hold here. Or you have an option to turn. So you might turn to one side. If you turn, you might notice your back. And maybe holding here for three, and one feel free to stay or you might turn in the other direction and you're more than welcome to, to turn in the same direction twice for whatever reason or well, there's an opportunity here to turn in the other direction you might notice your back for so maybe three two one, feel free to hold or you might come back towards your seated position and you're more than welcome to hold here or you might move towards hands and knees if you have uh, a blanket or something uh, for your knees do feel free to use that if you don't have one handy and you're on a yoga mat you might wrinkle the mat so that you have extra cushioning under your knees. If you need to pause this video just for a moment to, to fetch a blanket do, or a towel, do feel free. Otherwise from here, you might notice the surface underneath you. Maybe you notice the temperature or the texture of the surface underneath your hands and if you want to move your hands in any way, feel free. You might choose to, to hold here and there's an option to move backwards and forwards through your spine, through your back. The size of the movement is up to you and so is the pace of the movement if you find places where you want to pause feel free to pause otherwise you might keep moving for three two If you like to stay there, want to stay there, you can. Or an option here is to bring your hips towards your heels. They might touch, they might not. Maybe your arms are extended out in front. Or they might be extended out in front, but bent. You, you might or you might not rest your head towards the ground, your mat, or your arms. You might notice your back. You might notice the surface underneath you. So maybe three, and one if you want to hold here longer feel free oh there's an option here to move towards hands and knees and then maybe towards a, do a downward dog shape so you might tuck your toes might lift knees maybe pressing your 
your torso towards your legs. Now you're in control as to how long you hold here. So you're welcome to come out of the shape at any time. You're also in control as to whether you're still or whether you move. Now one option for movement is to lift and lower through your heels. So feel free to try both stillness or movement. And one might stand out for you for maybe three, two, and one. If you want to stay in the shape, you can. Or you might start to walk your feet in underneath your hips, maybe taking weight away from your upper body. So you might find yourself in a forward fold position. And there's options here, so feel free to bring your elbows towards your knees. You might bend or straighten through your legs. Another choice you might take here is dangling your forearms towards the ground, maybe holding elbows. You might notice the back of your legs and sometimes if you change the bend through your knees it might change the sensation through the back of your legs maybe even your back so feel free to adjust to suit you for three two and one if you want to hold here longer please feel free otherwise an alternative a choice is to come up to standing. That might be a fast movement or a slow movement. If you're moving towards standing, when you arrive you might have your arms low or feeling free to, to lift through your arms. And then when you feel ready, you might bring your arms back down if they're not there already. Uh, from here, you might notice the surface underneath your feet and you're welcome to hold. Well, there's an option to step wide, as wide as it suits you. Or you might stay here. Or maybe, maybe you turn your foot towards the side. If you're on a mat, that your foot might be pointing towards the short edge of the mat. Your other foot might be pointing towards the long edge. Then you have the option to bend through your, your knee. Let's call it the, the front knee. So you might bend and straighten through the, the knee of the leg that's pointing towards the short edge. And if you do bend and straighten, you might feel the back of your leg working. You might feel the front of your leg. And you're welcome to bring a hand to these spaces to feel the muscles from the outside. Now maybe you stay with movement. Or you might find a place where you want to pause. Maybe that's a bent knee, maybe that's a straight leg. Your arms might stay low, or you might lift. You might feel your legs. You might feel the weight of your body through your feet. So maybe three, two, and one. If you want to stay longer, you might drop. We can. <laughs> Otherwise, you might drop down through your arms, and maybe changing sides. 
So you're welcome to step to change or pivot to change, just depending on your space. If you want to stay on the same side for whatever reason you can. So wherever you are, you might bend and straighten through your front leg. And this gives the opportunity to maybe notice the sensations associated with different angles. And you're welcome to bring your hand towards your leg as a way to maybe notice the sensations from the outside. And you might continuously move or you might find a place where you want to pause. Maybe that's a bent leg, maybe it's straight. And it doesn't have to be the same as the other side. Welcome to make choices based on what you experience in this moment. Arms might stay low or you might lift, maybe, maybe extending out from shoulders, but you're in control of the angle. You might hold for three, two, and one. Feel free to stay, or you might come out of the shape, and you might pivot to change through your feet. So you might have one foot towards the short edge, one towards the long edge. Do you want to step in and then step back out? Absolutely, you can. Now you have a choice here of maybe bending through your front leg, so whatever foot is facing towards the short edge, you might bend through that knee, and then maybe leaning towards your knee. You might bring your elbow to your knee. Welcome to hold here. Or you have a choice with your top arm, so you might leave it just as it is or maybe your hand towards your hip, or maybe you lift through your top arm. Feeling free to gaze wherever suits you. For three, two, and one. As you feel ready, you might come out of the shape Feel free to press down on your knee to come out and you might pivot or step to change. Again, if you want to step in and then back out, you can. If you want to give this a miss, you absolutely can. Otherwise, from here, you might bend through your front knee. So you might have one foot towards the short edge, one towards the long. And you might bend, lean towards your bent leg and completely optional. Your top arm, you might leave it just as it is. You have the choice of bringing your arm towards your hip, or maybe you lift. And you can choose the angle of your arm if you do lift, and you can choose your gaze might create different sensations through your shoulders and neck and you're in control for maybe three, two, and one. Do you feel ready? You might come out of the shape. You might bring your feet in underneath you. Feel free to stay standing for as long as it suits you or you might make your way towards seated and if you are moving towards seated it's an option here to take the soles of your feet together and your knees to the side you might choose to to hold upright or you have the option to fold forward so that's a choice staying upright or folding forward and if you fold you might feel a sensation change through your hips and you're in control of that sensation so feeling free to change the angle of your upper body to suit 
So maybe three, two, and one. Feel free to hold. Or you might lift up through your upper body if you haven't already. And then maybe taking one leg out and one leg in. So you might have one bent knee, the foot towards your your other leg. Feel free to stay just as you are. Or you're welcome to lean forward. And if you lean, you might notice a sensation change through the back of your leg and you're in control of that sensation. Now sometimes if you change the position of your foot, your front foot, it might change how the shape feels. So feel free to make adjustments that suit you. So maybe three, two, One, feel free to hold or you might start to move towards your other side if you want to stay on the same side you can so you might have one leg out maybe one knee to the side now this leg that's out it could be straight or bent so do feel free to to change the angle now you might stay upright. Maybe these are sensations you want to, to hold with. Or well, you're welcome to fold forward. And if you choose to fold, you might feel a sensation change through the back of your leg. And wherever you are, sometimes if you change your foot position, it might change how this shape feels. So feel free to make adjustments that suit you. And maybe three, two, and one. You're welcome to stay. Or you might come out of the shape. Maybe you bring both legs, both of your legs out in front. You might bring your hands behind you. And you can choose whether your fingers face forward or to the side, maybe back. So you might hold here, or you might squeeze your shoulder blades together. You might bring your shoulder blades together. And then you can choose how much weight you lean into your hands. And there's an option to lift through your chest. And if it doesn't work for you today, that's it's fine, it's totally fine. Feel free to make that choice. Another option here is your head position. So you might go down, forward or up. So maybe three, two, and one. If you want to stay here, by all means, feel free. Otherwise, you might start to come out of the shape. The option of maybe circling through your wrists. And from here, you might move towards lying down on your back. And you're welcome to lie down in any way that suits. One option might be rolling down slowly. And if you are moving towards lying on your back, when you arrive, you might curl in through your legs or stretch out or somewhere in between. You might feel the surface underneath you. And feeling free to stay just as you are. Or another option is to bring your knees in towards your chest you might hold here or you're welcome to bring your arms out to the side maybe extending from your shoulders and maybe dropping your knees towards one side 
Now you can choose the angle of your arms, especially the arm opposite the direction of your knees. Feel free to have that in close, in close towards your upper body, or out to the side, or maybe closer towards your ear. This might change what you experience through your shoulders or shoulder. So feeling free to choose an arm position that works for you. There's no wrong or more advanced. It's just different shapes with different sensations. And maybe holding for three, two, One, feel free to hold just as you are. Or you might start to move towards your other side. Maybe you pause along the way. Or maybe you go straight to your other side. Now you're in control of your arm position, especially the arm opposite the direction of your knees. Might be curled in might be out to the side or closer towards your ear and uh, you don't necessarily have to mirror the previous side feel free to move in whatever way suits you in this moment maybe staying for three two and one as you choose, you might start to, to move towards lying on your back. Maybe your knees come in towards your chest. From here, we're moving towards the quiet phase of the practice. And during this time, you're welcome to be seated or lying down. You might choose to be still, or maybe you use this time to move in any way that suits. Just during this time, I won't speak, so just giving you a bit more space. So today, it's because it's a slightly shorter practice, maybe a couple of minutes here, I'll set a timer. And I'll speak again once those two minutes have passed. And as you feel ready, 
you might start to bring more movement into your body. Any movement is welcomed. Some options might be movement through fingers, your fingers, your toes. You might stretch out or curl in. And on your way to seated, feeling free to spend some time lying on one side. Or you might choose to sit straight up. And if you're moving towards seated, once you arrive, you might find a seated position that suits you. you might be cross-legged or kneeling. You might notice the surface underneath you. Feeling free to hold there, or you might take your hands together, you might rub them. You might feel the temperature change. And you might bring this in towards your chest, maybe palms touching or palms down. And maybe holding here for three, two, and one. From here, you might bring your practice to a close. Well, thank you for taking the time to practice. And I hope this short practice has given you some insight into what to expect in a trauma sensitive yoga session. Um, a yoga session, a trauma sensitive yoga session, could go anywhere from 15 minutes to to 60 minutes, so sort of cater to the needs of the client. Uh, so if 30 minutes feels good for you, then that's something that's available. Uh, I offer group sessions and one-on-ones, and so the one-on-one ses sessions, again, can just be more fine-tuned to the client and their needs. Uh, yet the group sessions, uh, some find that they enjoy that sense of community and that group, um, this group energy. And again, it's not for everyone, so again, there's these options. Um, so from here, um, do feel free to contact me with any questions or comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, thanks again.